Harry is panicking. Megan smashes fake Archie and Lily bet crisis with kidnapping. Hello and a very warm welcome back to our The Top Half News Channel. One royal source has just claimed that Meghan Markle did not think long term. She loved all the attention during her first pregnancy. And she only had to wear that moon bump a couple of times for the second pregnancy. Their black and white photo announcement for Lily Bed was shown on February 14th. Supposedly, she was five months along at the time, but she thought that wearing a nine-month bump would be believable. Now, why in the world Meghan and Harry thought anyone normal would go along with this insanity is beyond me. Meghan really is getting reckless. Posting a photo of a girl who is not even related to them. And immediately, it was noted to be a gardener's granddaughter. Now, how do the royals get themselves out of an embarrassing mess like this? They are in quite the predicament in the lead-up to the Queen's Jubilee. The royal family was inundated with correspondence from groups and support of the royal family, telling them that if Harry and Meghan went to the event, they would be booed by the public and as predicted, this is exactly what happened. Harry wasn't able to hide his feelings of shock and horror that depressed look on his face, told it all. These groups campaign to protect the royal family from the traitor is too. And they are well organized. They sent letters to all of the senior royals. Now, I even got to see some of those letters and without a doubt, the royals were carefully targeted with correspondence that was designed to get them speaking together. This campaign turned out to be quite a success as we saw. And the family's predicament. Well, every member of the royal family thinks the same. On this particular subject, they are united. Harry and that woman, as the Queen refers to her, are finished, as far as the royals are concerned. Now, the only thing the family really has to decide is how they're going to cope with these two invisible children who are still in the line of succession. Forget all the phony stories coming out from Omid Scooby-Doo, telling us all about meetings with the Queen at a birthday party they had with the royal. None of that happened and the family must be worried about the panic that's been brought on by how to deal with this problem. I mean, of course they understand that the public is simply not gullible enough to believe this pantomime that they're watching play out on a daily basis. And the royals are wondering for how long this kind of deception can possibly go on. And the palace is keeping mom about everything. See, there's actually no proof that they could show us. Boy, are they in a mess? I mean, there are two children in the line of succession and nobody even knows what those two kids look like. The Queen is refusing to show us a genuine picture of herself with her great-grandchildren. And a lot of people are wondering why. People also are starting to ask if Harry is in a panic too. How can he possibly get out of this? Now for whatever reason, he chose to go along with this scam that Meghan came up with. But Harry has to understand this cannot go on forever. It has been made clear to Harry that he and Meghan could possibly be charged with high treason. And he is going to know that to attempt to undermine the lawfully recognized line of succession does leave him subject to imprisonment. It is really that serious. So last Monday, when Meghan's PR people released that photo with her consent, the whole world was scammed. Now see, she was careful to not explicitly claim that it was her daughter, the invisible Lily Bed, but she did lead the news agencies to believe that Meghan Markle's PR people worked so hard to spread that news. American TV personality Stassi Schroeder had a baby daughter with her husband casting agent, Bo Clark, and there he is holding their daughter. And whenever Harry's wife has seen photograph with a child, there's absolutely no interaction between them. We don't see any proof of a bond no affection whatsoever. And that is a dead giveaway that the kids are not really hers. So the baby held by Megan is not collecting at her hair or her clothes like the children beside her, that baby instead is looking in the distance. The baby's looking at somebody else. And Megan Markle, where is she looking directly at the camera as always? So contrast that with the father and the photo above, he is looking with so much love and adoration at his baby who feels totally safe in his arms. 
and she is gently holding on to his arm and that video of the child known as Archie's first birthday, that child was not trying to seek comfort from his alleged mother or engage in reading with her. Instead, he was busy trying to get away from her. See children that young, they just can't act. They don't have it in them. And they also cannot lie. But Meghan Markle apparently is not smart enough to realize that. In her own words, even she is a fraud. So with this whole thing about the children turns out to be a big hoax. I would say boy, it might be the biggest hoax of the 21st century. I don't believe that UK could touch her, but I'm not sure about America. Maybe they could do something about it. Harry's situation is quite different though. And the source went on to say one disturbing theory of how the Markels will get out of this as emerging and gathering ground among several internet groups at an alarming rate. Uh, kidnapping, don't distress yourself over this. This is a stage kidnapping of two children who don't exist. So if that really happens, it could be a way out of this mess for everybody. The family can safely remove the names from the line of succession. Meghan Markle can play the sympathy card her favorite claiming that it all happened because the royal family denied them security. Now, surely though nobody is going to believe this is actually going to be the next step. There's just one little block in their way. I'm talking about the Santa Barbara Police Department who will need to investigate. So clearly the royal family has also been scanned. It's a shame, but honesty is really the best policy. See. I think if they're trying to cover up anything, they were only trying to protect Harry and only Harry. The royal family did cover up Meghan Markle's bad behavior in Australia when they had to pay £250,000 to a staff member to keep that staff member to quiet about Meghan Markle throwing tea all over her, but it didn't work. That news got out anyway. It could be that the royals are playing a waiting game when it comes to Harry and Meghan being found out. It's only a matter of time. Now, all of this covering up for them, even before the wedding. Boy, they really are in a mess. Now personally, I think they're not going to say anything unless they're forced to. Like all messes. Honesty really is the best way to get out of a mess. It's the only way they can move forward. It's time for the royal family to tell the truth, however bad it may be. You know, they could be surprised by the people's support, especially now after the Platinum Jubilee with even more trouble coming from Meghan and Harry. And Meghan and Harry meanwhile, they need to get themselves into therapy stat. The damage they have done is going to be a lot worse than any possible truth, which eventually is going to come out. And it also sounds like the royal family is fully aware of how delusional Meghan and Harry are. They may have just chosen to ignore it. It is nice to hear that a well-organized group executed such an amazing campaign engage in the British royal family by showing them that the global public is on to Meghan and Harry. And I mean, honestly I am a bit curious if Meghan or Harry might try to design some kind of kidnapping of the two invisible children. But one thing is for sure, the documentary about this whole world-class mystery will be a story years from now that's going to shock the world. I am sure of that. I can only hope that we get some answers from the family before any kind of documentary is created. Unfortunately, though, I do fear that Netflix, if they have any sense whatsoever, are going to be trying to make their money back by making a documentary about the lies and downfall of Meghan and Harry. And you, what do you think about them? Please tell me your opinion below in the comment section. And we can also talk about Meghan and Harry's plot. If you think my video is helpful, don't forget to like and share with your friends and relatives who would love it. And don't be afraid to subscribe to the top half news channel to get more videos from our team. Now thank you for watching. Goodbye and I will be back to see you in the next